This is one of Wabash River Aquarium. All these fish came out of the Wabash. I see the long ear sunfish there. And you have the spot fin shiner right. Right there, you got the creek chub right there. Spot fin. Got a little blunt nose minnow down in the bottom here. These are feisty. There's a central stone roller. Big creek chub. And this is the big creek chub out here. They don't stay still for very long. See, so I got some small snails here. Quite a few snails up in the bay. Some pond plants here. Some sword leaf of some sort. Okay. If I can catch him, I've got a small dace. Yeah, right. Right over here is a little black nose dace, right there. You can see it's a pretty good community. But they're pretty feisty and they're always hungry. This tank's been running for about nine months now. Got most of these fish out of the Wabash during the flood period in April and May. You can see it actually comes in up at this point. That's 55 gallon here comes across, actually exits out around the gravity fed siphon, comes down in here, I don't know if you can see, but I got some small rusty crayfish that actually grew from eggs, I've got a female that was gravid out of the Wabash, and you can see I've got some biofiltration here, both the pea gravel, with all the uh, bacteria, then I've also grown these plants. These were about one third the size they are now when I first started this. And you can see it actually runs through this here. The, there's actually two pond planters with filter in between. And that helps uh, get some of the finer sediments out before they get pumped back through here and around the side here. And you actually see it comes back up and back into the tank. And that's my 55 gallon Wabash River Aquarium. Thanks for watching.